Hi students, welcome to our environmental awareness seminar. Today we're going to be talking about um, the Michigan spotted turtle, which is endangered in Michigan, and we're going to be talking about its importance in the wetlands and in uh, different ecosystems. So here's a picture of the food web of a wetland. Um, the spotted turtle is a secondary consumer, so they consume primary consumers and they are eaten by tertiary consumers. So they hold a very important place in the ecosystem. They, um, If their population was to shrink or um, anything like that, then the tertiary consumer or the primary consumer would be affected in a negative way. Their populations would increase or decrease and the ecosystem would be thrown out of balance. So they're very important to the general ecosystem and if they were to um, decrease in any way, which they are because they're endangered, um, the ecosystem is in a not great balance. So um, we're gonna be talking about how important they are to the wetlands and we're gonna explore some of their habitats today. So let's take it outside and see if we can't find ourselves some Clemmy's Gutata. So here we cut to the field trip portion of our seminar, talking about the environment and wondering why we waited this long to come out here, uh, because it's extremely cold. Anyway, uh, as we see here, we have a wetland where possible spotted turtles, the, the Clemmy's Gutata, could live. Uh, we've got subaquatic, submerged aquatic vegetation, you know, sediment, organic matter, for macroinvertebrate populations to live in to feed said spotted turtle, you know, and uh, in addition to that, yeah, there's a lot of water, and turtles like water. Uh, it's important. That's all I've got. The deal with the spotted turtle is, is that they're a specialist organism, meaning that they require a certain kind of habitat in order to live. In addition to that, they also have a very long reproductive potential meaning that it takes them a long time to reach sexual maturity in order to procreate. So when humans impact the spotted turtle's habitat, it takes them a very long time to recover from it, from an insult such as that. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the impacts that humans have on the spotted turtle. So when you come out to a wetland like this one, you need to be really self-conscious about how you're impacting that environment. Don't be throwing trash in there and really be respectful of the environment itself. 50% of all wetlands in the United States have been destroyed in purpose for agriculture and urban sprawl. And so they're really vital to the environment and we are destroying them. They help purify our water and they're really important to the organisms that live there. So the spotted turtle relies on the environment of a wetland. And so when we take that away from them, that's gonna limit their population and cause them to become endangered. You can have a wetland in your backyard. You can advocate for them. Go out and tell people that you care about them and we should try to save them. And you can also limit your pollutants that you put into the environment. So just take away from this seminar that you should really care about them because they're important and they're vital to all of us. So thank you for joining us today, students. Uh, we hope you learned something from going outside and looking at the spotted turtle habitat. And we hope you can take this knowledge back with you and uh, make a difference because we are the ones who will be able to make differences um, in these species' lives. So thanks again for um, attending with us. Thanks for coming. Bye, get, guys. Go get learned. <laughs>